programs because they never had an identity. And I realized from birth in front of the television being programmed, first they put out programming in the 40s, 50s, and 60s where everyone was happy and everything was great and dad was good and mom was good and everybody was straight and strong and America was perfect to get people into a comfort zone trusting the state. Then they began to roll in by the 70s, the cultural destroying systems once they had people in a trance and now they're going into pure programming, preparing people for the nanny state and the end of civilization and humanity as we know it. And it's all completely programmed and it's only a select group of globalists, technocrats, social engineers, political scientists that know about it and control it and they've all written books about it. Not giving all of it away, but much of it to be able to, to understand how to run the system, they need to give some of the Promethean, satanic fire of evil, human control, social control, free will destruction to their subsect minions to be able to carry out the great work. The shackling of humanity, the shuttering of humanity, the great pulling down by the Lilliputian control freaks of the great titan that is free humanity. The great conquering, the great destruction. Like a hunter gets on a power trip when he lets the bull elephant charge him and then shoots the elephant in the chest with the high-powered rifle. And watches the elephant fall onto its knees and slide like a locomotive coming to a halt in a pile of dirt. Like a bullet fired into a sandbank. That's what all of this is about. And George Arwell, a.k.a. George Arwell, Eric Blair, who was a top PSYOP officer in OSS, who before that was an Imperial secret police officer, who before that was a deep cover OSS communist infiltrator, he gave it away in an allegory, the parable of 1984, when, when, when Winston is tearing his teeth out with pliers, has been torturing him for several months, he said, listen, I could have just killed you. It's about breaking your soul and having you be delusional because you were a great man, Winston, and it's about our cult of power annihilating goodness and humanity and justice and truth. We're going to stomp you to hell. Nothing will stop the satanic total release. That's their spirit. And I'm able to tune into the enemy, folks. That's why I'm able to understand their operations. I can tune into their wavelength. And I can read their books where they tell you what they're going to do. Orwell was completely freaked out about it when he finally, as even a high-level officer, clicked to it all when he was brought into the Fabian Socialist. And they said, man, we're Satan worshipers, bro. We're going to kill. The plan is mass death hell razor. Black uniforms burning cities and finally burning the earth to a crisp. We're going to murder everybody. We're going to do it slow, though. You want to see the future? It's a boot stomping on a human face forever. So we've had a discussion now about the big picture. While you're running around imagining you're a fairy princess when you're 45 years old, and while your husband thinks he's manly and struts around other guys, puts on the ball game and does everything, a giant psych warfare, positronic, multi-layered system is assaulting your DNA, your children, poisoning the food and water, all on record, hitting you and hitting you hard. And you're all delusional. I mean, General Petraeus, all of them. If you think you're going to escape this system and that you're going to be given the true life extension by the elites. I look into Dick Cheney's eyes and I see someone who's scared and had his soul basically sucked out. And all he knows how to do is act calm and act like he's in control of a situation. Dick Cheney, despite the fact he's been given an advanced life extension, He's got a big PR facade up that he got standard care and anybody can get this bull crap. He's out there seeing it ready for a giant new terror attack. Oh, I bet. Death trains loaded with tens of thousands of illegals pour across as the North American Union is officially founded on the ashes of the old republic. That's all coming up. 
masses of news today, but I want to pull back one more segment, give you the geopolitical analysis of where we are currently. I'm Alex Jones. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions. SilverLungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at SilverLungs.com. That's SilverLungs.com. Attention all radio listeners. Survival Life is giving away free credit card knives exclusively to our radio listeners here today. Visit MyCreditCardKnife.com to see this covert knife in action and claim yours for free. It's the same knife you've seen in the airline magazines for $29.95, but today it's yours free. Just pay shipping and handling. MyCreditCardKnife.com, MyCreditCardKnife.com. Go now. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. Most people know that iodine deficiency has been a crisis around the world. Iodine is key to so many of the body's functions, especially the thyroid. I discovered a product being developed by Dr. Group. You now know it as Survival Shield True Nascent Iodine that your body can really absorb. Then, about a year ago, he said, listen, if you think this is powerful, I'm going to come out with rare earth, deep earth crystals. And the results that I personally have had have been life-changing. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. This is innovating, and the best part is it helps fund InfoWars.com, the radio show, the TV show, the whole media operation promoting true libertarian ideas. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. Take advantage of this unprecedented 30% off super detox special at InfoWarsLife.com. It's been said, those who control the food, control the people. Are you concerned about GMO foods making you sick and affecting your mind? Many people suffer from lack of energy, insomnia, loss of stamina, weight gain, and the inability to think clearly. Genetically modified crops, processed foods, and toxic chemicals can compromise your health and are silently destroying your digestive system, which accounts for 80% of your immune system. Take back control of your health with Pro-EM1 Probiotic from Terraganics. Pro-EM1 Probiotic helps protect your body against irritable bowel syndrome, constipation, Crohn's disease, celiac disease, diabetes, the common cold, and much more. And including a powerful probiotic like Pro-EM1 as part of your daily routine puts you back in control and prevents you from becoming a mindless zombie manipulated by the pharmaceutical and GMO agendas. Call Terraganics at 866-369-3678 or visit Terraganics.com. T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. A 30-day GMO-free emergency food supply for only $99 at 30dayfoodsupply.com. You can purchase Oregon Trail Foods' one-month supply of high-quality, nutritious, and healthy emergency meals. For less than $100, these vegetarian meals are naturally high in fiber, carbs, and protein, and they're packed with oxygen absorbers in Mylar pouches. They're completely free of any artificial flavors and colorings, have a 20-year shelf life, and take up to 70% less space than number 10 cans. They even offer a gluten free option. Oregon Trail Foods and 30dayfoodsupply.com. Keep prices low by buying directly from the producers in Oregon and then passing the savings to you. Purchase a 30-day 90-serving emergency food supply for only $99 this month and $10 ships your entire order. Visit the website at 30dayfoodsupply.com or call 541-229-0010. That's 30dayfoodsupply.com where they make preparedness affordable. 30dayfoodsupply.com. We are in an artificial construct that is not completed yet. We are in a false reality system meant to induce artificial human activities in the general public on an artificial evolutionary course towards the end of humanity as we know it. Now, again, I've been talking about that for almost 20 years. When I was first discussing it, it sounded like something from Mars. Now it's all over Discovery Channel, History Channel, all over Wired Magazine, all over the news, being announced like it's a foregone conclusion. Humans will merge with machines and no longer be homo sapien sapien by 2035. 
Dun, dun, dun. It's going to be great. You're going to live forever. You like NAFTA and GATT? You're going to love this. You loved Obamacare? You're going to love this. You like the Iraq War? You're going to love this. You like government-run health care? You're going to love this. The globalists want to suppress the general public having access to all this. And I know I restate this every week. It's because the general public has been induced to care about things that don't matter, to live in a false reality, and then laugh with their programming. Ah, oh, you're a conspiracy theorist to knowledge that they don't know about because they're so ignorant. That's the little defense mechanism that they're given. But now they're beginning to see that, oh, wait, the, you know, this new world order is real. So that's the good news is most people don't laugh at this or make jokes anymore. But they come up to me and they say, what are we going to do about it? Well, first off, most people who think they're awake don't really know how big it is. Or they'll have a attitude like, well, you know, this is just part of evolution and this is the way it is. There's nothing you can do about it. Imagine a general population that believes they don't affect the future. That's called believing you're disempowered on every front. When the animating contest is taking place to decide the future and you have incredible power, that's why they're telling you you don't have power. But what they're currently doing, and then I'm going to come back with the really big news. Dick Cheney you know, saying, get ready for terror attacks. So we're going to get nuked. Obama, Dianne Feinstein saying, get ready. Because I want to talk about where they're going next. Let me just tell you briefly where we are currently. If you read the BAMP Canada documents that were uh, from 2006, Judicial Watch sued 2007, it's in my film Endgame. They say in the meeting with the top 200 CEOs of the world plus meeting in roundtable events with the leaders, the Secretary of State's presidents, prime ministers, and others there, and then the corporations would vote officially in the North American Union agreement that Bush had signed two years before uh, at Baylor in Waco in a secret ceremony with Vicente Fox. That document's still secret, but in the minutes, imagine a secret North American Union that no one's ever been able to see except the front page. The front page says, we have officially merged Canada, Mexico, and the U.S. Our militaries will interchange, will help each other with insurrections. That was then put in the John Warren Defense Authorization Act two years later, 2007. It's all official. It's all global law, totally illegitimate, but they're moving forward with it. You see, they're just doing it because the government is now under its control. And the big corporate CEO bosses would vote and then they would give the quote recommendation in administrative law to the governing heads of the countries, usually secretaries of state or their counterpart, hundreds of them were there and then they returned and began implementing it full speed ahead. Why? Because if they implement it, they all get corporate junkets, they all get corporate payoffs, they have revolving doors and they get a place in the global government. That's why anybody will tell you, even in mainline uh, political publications, that no one wants to be at the state level or the federal. They want to be at the international, the IMF, the World Bank, the UN, the International Bank of Settlements, the EU, because you literally have diplomatic immunity. You don't pay taxes. You're above the law. Look it up. This is the new royalty. They have established this. Obama presses North American Union with Mexico, Canada. Look, there's the headline from February of this year with him saying North American Union. See, they're uncloaking. They deny, they deny, they deny it's going on. Oh, these crazies think the police track your cell phones in real time. I said that in a 2003 film, The Matrix of Evil, with Ron Paul in a speech. The film's built around those speeches. And I said, every cell phone's tracked in real time with the police, but they're not allowed to tell you. But I've talked to high-level people at the Threat Fusion Centers and seen the documents. And the governor of Wisconsin slipped up and admitted it once. Here's the article. Everything's in live time. They hit one button. They listen to you in your car or in your house. Boom. That's now in the New York Times last week. It's in the Columbia Journalism Review today. Local cops can track your phone without a warrant, and the government doesn't want you to know. How? Well, it's got a satellite triangulator through the cell towers down to three feet. I mean, how do you think they do it? I told you in 1996. And again... You need to listen to me, folks. There are cancer viruses in the vaccine. Get in bed in your...
DNA to trigger it when hormone levels go down to kill you. I mean, I, it's, 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 it's pure evil. I mean, what, what am I We're supposed to talk about? March. And it's always the like it's just throw in.